Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to get faster and develop more speed without a coach. So there's two main things we need to focus on, time trials and recording ourselves. There's a couple of reasons why and there's a third point after this, but first of all, let's start with time trials. So if you have no coach, you're probably not on a track or if you are on a track, you're not actually joining in with the other sessions or you're not at a time where there are other sessions. Hence, you can only be trained by yourself. So time trials are the most important thing because they're able to put, let you realize where you are at, at any specific point in time, find your PBs before your season starts, or maybe your season's already started trying to beat your PBs and just see roughly where you are. Obviously it's hand time, so it's not completely accurate, but time trials are great because every single time you do a time trial, you're able to, you, you're able to see where you are and you know you're definitely gonna push yourself to try and sprint as fast as you can so you can beat the last time trial or the last PB you had. Time trials are important because they mimic what would happen if you was actually in a group with a coach and you was running. Like I don't, doesn't matter if it's like 40 meters, 60 meters, 100, 200, 150s. It doesn't matter what you would have been doing in training. Whenever you're with a bunch of other people, obviously you start to get competitive when you know you're competing against them. Even though it's just training, you're going to want to, if you could be, you're going to want to be the person who's finishing whatever you're doing first every single time. So why would that change now, now that you don't have a coach? Or if you've never had a coach, how would you try to get that to happen? You do time trials, because that way, now you're just trying to beat yourself. In a way, if you ever played any of those games, like usually racing games, where like you, like you, might, you might have a car and then you're just making it better each time and then you go and you do a race and then you get your time and then you make your car better after some time doing some other races to get more money, then you do the race again. You see that shadow version of yourself from the past who's doing the race and then you've got you if you've developed enough you're going to beat that person but maybe a small amount maybe a big amount but what's my, what's important here is that you beat yourself because you're able to roughly see where you are time trials give you the same thing you essentially train by yourself you, you build up your car essentially then do the time trial and see whether you've but if you've developed enough, you've gone better enough to be able to beat your past self. Now, the next thing would be recording yourself, like I said. And recording yourself is important because, in a sense, it's also a time trial. But when you're recording yourself, you're obviously going to want to perform at your best, looking your best. So your form is probably going to be on point, especially if you plan to be uploading your form somewhere on, like, on the Internet or something like YouTube. You definitely want to have the best form possible so that it can look as good as possible because if you think you're fast and you are fast you don't want to have sloppy form that makes you look like you can't even be uh, 15 seconds for the 100 meters when you, when you can go like sub 12 sub 11 sub 10 it wouldn't make sense so making sure that you perform at your best whilst you're being recorded is the only way you can do it and similar to a time trial you get the same benefits but the main benefit here that we want to focus on would be the third point which is on form because when you record yourself you're actually able to see yourself when you're sprinting and you're able to look at what's good look at what's bad compare yourself to other sprinters this is the real the real key to getting faster with no coach recording yourself to compare yourself with others if you're a sub 12 sprinter but you're not sub 11 and you're trying to find out where your problems are and you've got a hundred meter time you've got a hundred meter video of you from the best angles no one's speaking it's just you sprinting you've never sprinted this good before uh it's essentially a time trial so you're going your fastest you haven't gone that fast before and you're able to compare that to someone who's going sub 10 you could quickly see the differences between your form and theirs instead of just looking at their form you're like i wonder if i do that or not and then just trying it and then saying, I, I don't or I do, or not being too sure. If you have video evidence, you know whether you're doing it or not. Because maybe your brain is just playing games with you. Maybe your brain thinks you are doing it. Maybe it thinks you're not doing it. If it thinks you are doing it and you're not doing it, that's a problem. But if it thinks you're not doing it, well, great for you. You're humble. But what about the things that you're not so humble on when you're sprinting that you think you're doing that you're not? There's always areas to improve if you're slow. Or not so much slow, but if you're not world class. If you're not world class obviously you're lacking something and it's always important to remember this you might be able to put five times your body weight into the ground maybe maybe probably not but maybe but if your form is garbage you are not going sub 10 it's never going to happen if your form is garbage you're not going sub 10 because what's important more than your power output is your form and the direction of your power output if you're putting more power vertically 
then horizontally, don't expect to get to the other side of the track. It's just not going to happen. And yeah, if you like the video, like the video. If you want to subscribe to see more content like this, I post every two days at 1 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. If that's not the time that you're used to, do convert it so you can figure out when I post. If you got any questions or any video suggestions, put those down in the comments. I'll always see your comments. So if you want to, make sure you do. And do check my description of all my videos. I always put something good there.